Hi, I'm Jeff Minter here today with another tech tip from Automotive Research and Design. Our topic today is going to be the high voltage battery module, so we're going to go over a little bit of detail on what's actually going on inside of the battery packs. You can see we have two different designs here. We have a cylindrical style cell that's common in the Ford and the Honda products, and we have a prismatic style cell which is utilized by most other manufacturers at this point. The cylindrical cells, you can see, do not have a vent at all. They are self-contained individual D-cell size batteries. As you can see in, in this cutaway here where we have individual cells that are welded together when they're assembled, you can see that they're each isolated from each other and each one's its own individual battery. The electrolyte in these is actually a paste electrolyte, so there's really no liquid, uh, liquid within these batteries. The Ford packs typically have five cells per stick. Each cell is rated at 1.2 volts. The Honda packs have six cells per stick. The prismatic modules, if you move over and take a look at this one here, this is a second generation Toyota Prius, all the way up through current or similar it's used in the, uh, the Chevy products. And what we have in this case is a prismatic module design where there are six individual cells that are all manufactured as one unit. These do have a vent on them. They also have a, a small amount, about a teaspoon of electrolyte that's actually liquid inside of an absorbed glass mat style battery. These are not normally going to vent through this vent. They're only going to vent in the event of a failure of the battery. Normally, this will not uh, release pressure until around 43 PSI is built up internally inside of this module. So that's the basics of the uh, internal cells of the high-voltage batteries. Hopefully, you find the information useful. Thank you.